Told you, didn't I, Harry? Told you you was famous. Professor Quirrell. Harry, Professor Quirrell will be one of your teachers at Hogwarts. Potter, can't tell you how pleased I am to meet you. What sort of magic do you teach, Professor Quirrell? D -d Defence against the dark arts. Not that you need it, eh, P Potter? You'll be getting all your equipment, I suppose. I I've got to pick up a new book on vampires myself. Must get on, lots to buy. Come on, Harry. Three up, two across. Right, stand back, Harry. Welcome to Diagon Alley. Just your wand left from Ollivander's. Oh yeah, and I still haven't got your birthday present. Hello? Good afternoon. Ah, yes. Yes, yes. I thought I'd be seeing you soon, Harry Potter. You have your mother's eyes. It seems only yesterday she was in here herself, buying her first wand. Ten and a quarter inches long, swishy, made of willow. Nice wand for charm work. Your father, on the other hand, favoured a mahogany wand. Well, I say your father favoured it. It's really the wand that chooses the wizard, of course. Well now, Mr. Potter, let's get started, shall we? If you'll kindly follow me. Have a look around, Mr. Potter. When you find a wand you like, pick it up and let's see if it likes you. Ebony and unicorn hair, eight and a half inches, springy. Stand over there, on that platform, to try your wand. My goodness, definitely not. Holly and Phoenix feather, 11 inches, nice and supple. Curious. I remember every wand I've ever sold, Mr. Potter. Every single wand. It so happens that the phoenix, whose tail feather is in your wand, gave another feather. Just one other. It is very curious indeed that you should be destined for this wand when it's brother. Why its brother gave you that scar? Yes. Curious indeed how these things happen. The wand chooses the wizard, remember? I think we must expect great things from you, Mr. Potter. After all, he who must not be named did great things. Terrible, yes. Yeah. But great. Please retrieve the spell book that lies beyond. It will prove most valuable in all that lies ahead.
Over here, Mr. Potter. Booger flavor. Mmm. Cut. Yuck. Grog. Ugh. Liver. Oh, bogey, booger flavor. Ugh. Mmm. Oh, booger. Mmm. Chocolate. Oh. Mmm. Curry. Mmm. Curry. Mmm. Curry. Over here. Mmm. Fishy, sardine flavor. Rim, mmm, revolting, vomit flavor. Oh, mmm, coconut. Oh, bravo! Yes, indeed. Oh, very good. Well done, Mr. Potter. Once you learn some more powerful magic, you'll be able to cast more powerful flippendo knockback jinxes. If you'd kindly follow me. Oh, earwax flavor. Flavor. Ugh. Tripe. Mmm. Marmalade. Felix Summerby, 1447 to 1508, inventor of cheering charms. These three large shields on the far wall can be flipped using your flippendo